Hello. Uh, I'm going to present a mathematical model for success. And in this model, success will be defined as successfully completing a certain number of tasks before failing to complete that number of tasks. For example, if your goal is to complete, if you have a goal to complete four tasks, success will be defined as completing four tasks before failing to add four tasks. You can achieve this goal by achieving four out of four tasks or four tasks in a row, but you can also achieve it by complete, completing four out of five, four out of six, four out of seven. Now a little thought should convince you that it is not possible to success, successfully complete four out of eight before failing to complete four tasks. You will either complete four before your eighth attempt or you will fail to complete four before your eighth attempt. Okay, I'm not going to go into great detail on the mathematics behind this model. It's pretty straightforward, but uh, let's take a look at what our goals are. So the question I will address in this project is, what is the probability of completing a given number of tasks before failing to complete the same number of tasks? How does this probability of success depend on the probability of completing each task and on the number of tasks needed for success? So these questions can be easier answered using probability theory. And again, I'm not going to go into uh, great detail now for how this is done. I'm just going to show you the results uh, using uh, an Excel spreadsheet. OK, here we have the spreadsheet for our mathematical model for success. And our input is the probability of completing one task, which right now is set at 0.5. And of course, probability of not completing that task would be 0.5, all right? So how does the probability of success defined as completing a certain number of tasks, one through 20 in this case, uh, before failing to complete that number of tasks? How does it depend on the number of tasks that you define as your probability of success? Do you have a low goal or a high goal? And how does it depend on your probability for completing a given task? All right, so uh, here on the ordinate, we have the probability of success and here the number of tasks needed for success. All right, so we started out with 0.5 as the probability. And of course, uh, in this mathematical model, it doesn't matter how many tasks you define as needed, you need for success. Uh, the probability is gonna be 0.5, all right? So you're just as likely to complete 20 tasks before failing to complete 20 as completing one task before failing to complete one task. Um, but let's just make our probability of success a little bit higher. I'm gonna make it 0.51. And of course the probability of failure would be 0.49. And you can see in the blue uh, curve, the probability of success increases rather rather dramatically by just increasing your edge by a little bit of uh, completing a task over not completing a task improving your skill let's say and in increasing your ability to complete that task let's make it a little higher let's make it 0.55 and okay now we see quite a big difference uh, and it, the probability of success increases rather dramatically with the number of tasks that you uh, want to achieve before failing to achieve that number. All right. By the time you get to 20 tasks, uh, you have almost a 75% probability of succeeding before failing. All right. Um, and of course, we've only increased our uh, probability of success from 0.5 to 0.55. Let's go to 0.6, see what happens. And now we're almost up with 20 tasks. We're almost up to 90% probability of success. Okay, so the probability of success as defined as completing a certain number of tasks before failing to complete that number of tasks uh, increases with the number of tasks you choose to, as your uh, model for success. So um, the, the bottom line here is that by increasing your skill so that your probability of completing a given task is a little bit greater can make a big difference over the long haul. Let's make it 
0.65 as your probability of success. Now you almost have 100% probability of success over the long haul, all right? 0.973, 97.3% probability. Um, just by making yourself 15% um, um, higher than 50-50 chance of completing a task, all right? 0.65 uh, was 15 percentage points higher than 0.5. So um, uh, this is uh, uh, maybe uh, not a realistic uh, model for success, but uh, I think it does show you that by improving your probability of success at a given thing, over the long haul can have a rather dramatic effect on your uh, success. Uh, in uh, in life, let's say, okay. Uh, so it's uh, it may not, you know, just a little bit of improvement can make a big difference. So I I, I hope that's uh, useful to to you. And uh, I thought it was kind of cute, maybe not realistic, but cute. So thank you for your attention, and I'll see you next time.